We got some very exciting news in regard to The Witcher 4 and the sequel trilogy. We're going to be talking a lot about The Witcher 4's development in this video and some other products that The Witcher 4 is affecting. We talked about all the latest news in regard to the Cyberpunk sequel Orion in my last two Cyberpunk videos which I'll leave in the description and pin comment section below. So let's just remind ourselves on what CDPR said about The Witcher 4 and the sequel trilogy last year at the Group Strategy Update video. Another project, codenamed Polaris, is the game which opens the new Witcher saga, further expands upon the open world storytelling known from The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. There will be three games in the saga, and we aim to deliver them over a six year period starting from the release of Polaris. It's a bold statement, as we are talking about three large scale productions, but we really mean it, and we have a plan on how to achieve it. Both the second and the third installments will, in technological terms, benefit from the groundwork laid during development of Polaris. In this way, we aim to smoothen the development process, while at the same time, staying creatively ambitious. So The Witcher 4 will be the first game in a new sequel trilogy, and they already have planned for The Witcher 5 and 6, and the games will remain open world RPGs. But a very interesting detail that I never really thought of before, is the fact that he said the 5th and 6th Witcher game will benefit from what was already done in the 4th Witcher game. So the assets and brand new gameplay mechanic, they wouldn't really need to start from scratch and take a long time in developing 5 and 6. And because they want to release these games in a six year period, I'm thinking maybe five and six will have the same map as number four. And just like Marvel's Spider-Man 2, the map will be expanded upon rather than having brand new maps for each game. I think this is the strategy that they're going for, but CD Projekt Red gave us some brand new details at the end of August. And this article is from IGN, which reads, a big part of Cyberpunk team moving to The Witcher 4 after Phantom Liberty launch. CD Projekt Red is shifting a big part of its Cyberpunk 2077 team to The Witcher 4, officially known as Polaris, once the Phantom Liberty expansion has launched. Speaking during CD Projekt's latest earnings call, President and CEO Adam Kaczynski said in the company is shifting more and more resources to the next Witcher game, with a big development boost happening when main development on Phantom Liberty is complete, which is now definitely been complete because the game is out and it's got some amazing reviews. There are currently 250-ish developers working on Polaris while even more are working on the Cyberpunk 2077 expansion. After releasing Phantom Liberty will transfer a big part of the team to Polaris, Kizinski said. Some remaining members will then focus on supporting other ongoing projects like Orion or Hader but bear in mind we'll also be supporting Phantom Liberty for some time. We also got this breakdown of what the development teams are engaged in over at CD Projekt Red. And it seems like a lot of the time was spent on Phantom Liberty. However, there was quite a bit of team members working on The Witcher 4, which started laying the groundwork in June 2022. And it seems to have increased in developer size every single quarter. And now that Phantom Liberty has finished, we can see by this breakdown that a lot of those people will be moving over to The Witcher 4. But we also know from the recent reports of Cyberpunk Orion that we've got a bunch of Phantom Liberty devs working on the next Cyberpunk game too, as well as the North American team of CD Projekt Red being the lead studio for Project Orion. Kaczynski therefore made clear that not every developer working on Phantom Liberty will immediately shift over to the next Witcher game, though as CD Projekt Red's development breakdown above shows, it's likely most of the developer's staff will be working on Polaris soon. And they also mentioned that some of the developers working on Phantom Liberty will also part from CD Projekt Red. So it's quite clear from this breakdown that The Witcher 4 will definitely be CD Projekt Red's next big title. And after that, I think we'll see maybe Cyberpunk Orion. And alongside The Witcher 4's development, we've got The Witcher Project Sirius, which is a multiplayer focused title for The Witcher franchise, and also The Witcher Canis Majoris, which is revealed to be The Witcher 1 remake. But we can talk about those projects in a separate video. So it's very exciting to hear that developers from Phantom Liberty will be working on The Witcher 4, because all I've heard is nothing but praise for the Phantom Liberty DLC and also how great the Cyberpunk 2.0 update is. And there will be some developers still working on Phantom Liberty for the next couple of months at least to iron out 
any bugs and glitches. We also got the reveal of the medallion for the next witcher sequel. Now this Link's medallion will probably represent the next big school of witchers that our main protagonist will be from. Now I think we've got a very strong chance of Ciri being the main protagonist of this game because I feel like the sequel trilogy does need to be an actual sequel to the main trilogy and I wouldn't really want them to bring back Geralt especially after his perfect ending in my opinion in the Blood and Wine DLC. And because there is no lore about the Lynx Witcher School, a lot of people online are speculating that Ciri may have actually made her own school of Witcher, which I think would be an absolutely amazing storyline for the next game. We've even got this Game Rant article talking a little bit more about what this new medallion could represent. So the article reads how the Witcher 4's new medallion sets the stage for the upcoming new saga. A Witcher's medallion is an incredibly important aspect to their identity. As well as being a useful tool for detecting the presence of magic, a witch's medallion also signifies which school they attended. In the Witcher books that the games are based on, there are seven confirmed Witcher schools, each one based on a different animal and each one with a unique fighting style based on the said animal. There's the school of the wolf, cat, viper, manticore, bear and griffin. And the Witcher 4's medallion could suggest that the school of the cat makes a return, either as the heroes of the saga or potentially as the villains. However, the leading theory at the minute is that the school of the cat isn't involved with the new Witcher saga at all, since CDPR has confirmed that the medallion isn't just of any cat but a lynx. And then goes on to say that Ciri may have started her own Witcher school. So it's going to be very interesting to see where the story leads in The Witcher 4. Again, I really do hope that Ciri returns in the sequel and is our new main protagonist, as I really did like Ciri's abilities in The Witcher 3. She didn't feel as good as Geralt, that's because you only got to play with her for a literal amount of time. So of course she will be a lot more fleshed out in the sequel game and her gameplay will probably even be better than Geralt's. It was also announced that the Red Engine will be retired after the release of Phantom Liberty, CD Projekt Red is developing the next Witcher games and the next Cyberpunk game and their own new IP. Hadar in Unreal Engine 5 and it's also nice to note that they will be having full functionality of Unreal Engine 5 by using the brand new 5.2 and 5.3 features so the game should look absolutely incredible. The reason why the Red Engine is being retired is simply because of technical implications. From their developer standpoint they must feel like the Unreal Engine 5 has much more to offer and will most likely be easier to develop on. We got this article from Gaming Bolt that says CDPR says Unreal Engine 5 will make development more efficient for next which trilogy the developer says that the engine was one of the reasons behind saying we want to release three big witcher games within six years so it seems like they're so confident with the unreal engine 5 engine that they could make such an ambitious statement in releasing the sequel trilogy within six years according to kaczynski the studio is still very much in the process of getting familiar with the new engine and right now development on polaris has an accelerator following the switching engine however it will apparently smoothen production for its sequels in fact, Kaczynski says shifting to Unreal Engine 5 is a big reason for why CDPR previously said it has planned to launch the new trilogy of Witcher games within 6 years. We are preparing things on the pipeline side and toolset side. Some developers are still learning the Unreal Engine 5 technology and at the same time there are teams working together with Epic on all aspects that are needed for our open world story driven RPGs he said. Definitely for our first project, Polaris, it will maybe not slow down, but it won't accelerate the development processes, but for the next projects, we assume that it should smoothen production. That was one of the reasons behind saying we want to release three big Witcher games. Back in May last year, in 2022, CDPR confirmed that The Witcher 4 was already in pre-production and had over 100 people working on it, and that the switch to Unreal Engine 5 had already brought about improved development and efficiency. In fact, The Witcher Remake, which will be a fully open world game, is also being developed on Unreal Engine 5 by Fool's Theory in collaboration with CD Projekt Red and is expected to launch after Project Polaris. So I really hope that all this is true in regards to Unreal Engine 5 actually being more efficient and making it easier for the developers to develop the next Witcher games, Cyberpunk and Project Hadar. And one final bit of news from NME.com, The Witcher 4 forces tabletop RPG to be placed on disappointing hiatus. So it says CD Projekt Red has put The Witcher tabletop role playing title on an indeterminate hiatus as working on both this game and the next mainline game has proven problematic. 
at it. Well, I didn't even know that CD Projekt Red themselves would be making a tabletop role-playing game. I would have thought that they would have hired out a different external studio that that specializes in tabletop games to make this one. But it's nice to see that they care about it enough that they want to put their efforts into it. But unfortunately, with Project Polaris, they can't really dedicate the time to it. It's been a while since I gave an update on the state of the Witcher TTRPG, but that's because things have been pretty complicated behind the scenes, said line manager and lead developer Cody Pondsmith in a post to our Telsorian Games official website. Pondsmith explained that the two companies were trying to ensure the coherence of the lore between its own tabletop role-playing title and the fourth The Witcher game which consistent communication. So it's my mistake here, I thought CD Projekt Red was developing it but it seems like Pondsmith and his team are developing it but CDPI is too busy to respond. I should mention that this TTRPG is being set in between the events of The Witcher 2 and 3 and is not drawing from anything that occurs in the fourth game. But that is all the updates for The Witcher 4 and its sequel trilogy for this video. I do want to make a second video to this as there are a few more news stories that I want to cover. And probably, hopefully, we'll get some more updates about The Witcher 4 in that time. Go ahead and watch my previous Cyberpunk Orion videos. I've made two of those. As well as some Starfield updates, some Star Wars upcoming games videos, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, The Last of Us and much more. I'll leave those videos in the description and pinned comment section below. And I want to say a big thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you again in one of my next videos videos. Take care guys. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind.